Hi everyone, this is Julia. On a Sunday, just going through all the LinkedIn changes, and um, hence the attire, so sorry about that, but this is really important stuff that I need to show you. Uh, I need to do it as well before my LinkedIn changes over, which I'm sure is going to be next week. Um, so basically, we've got the brand new LinkedIn profile on desktop, which is an absolute nightmare. They've taken loads of key features away, um, and they've not really added much, apart from it looking a little bit more swanky, and it looks uh, a little bit like the, the app. So if you're used to using the app, then you'll, you'll like this the layout of it. But when it comes to features, you know, unless you're paying for LinkedIn now, you know, there's some th key things that have been taken away. I have got some loopholes which I can show you how to um, use these extra functions which I'll prompt you as I go through. But these are the main things I wanted to show you the main changes today and where things are because I've also changed things and things are in different places. Okie dokie, so the first thing I wanted to go is tips on posting, you know, an activity update, so just doing your status update. So um, over here is how you would normally do it, so if I just go on to home, okay, and then just doing a normal status update, this is where I would do it normally, I would go share a status update, um, I can add a photo just here and I just type whatever and then I would click share, ta-da, nice and easy. Um, on the new version, Okay, if you, you, I would always recommend clicking home, but it's just right here, so it is games quite easy. And if you wanted to add an article to uh, Publisher or Pulse, then this is where you do it. Um, I couldn't find anywhere else to add it. But if you go to write a status update, and then you think, oh no, I need, I need to add a an article, it's in, it disappears. So just click home and you can go back there to write in an article. Okay, so that's how you do it. So add in an article there, goes into your LinkedIn Pulse. Or you can just put in that URL, so linkedin.com slash post slash new, uh, and you can add your article there with your headline and everything else, okay? The other thing I wanted to show you, I'm gonna blur this out, is the size of your LinkedIn header has now changed, it's a lot thinner. Um, in actual fact, it's quite e it's a lot easier now because it's exactly the same size as the company page information. So that's a another change. I'll put in the notes below or in the article that I'm gonna put for you, the um, guaranteed or the, the size that we would recommend. We've actually played with quite a lot of different sizes, so I'll show you the one that works for us. The size that LinkedIn optimized it for, it doesn't actually work. So we're gonna put that through and I'll put those down later. Okay, so that was the first thing I wanted to show you. The second thing that I wanted to show you guys, yes, is finding out, um, you know, if you're especially for recruitment or you're going to interview a candidate um, or you just want to check what someone's latest activity is, what you used to do is, say if I go on to mine, say if I'm going to go on to James Saker, okay, to find out what his recent activity is going to be, what I used to do is just click that little arrow there, It's taking a second to catch up. And it says there, view recent activity. So if I just click there, then I get all the activity of you know, what he's been doing. So if I'm just about to meet him as a brand new client, I can just check out what he's been doing on LinkedIn. That sort of warms up the conversations. That's really quite cool. So I was thinking, okay, on the new platform, how do I find that information out? So this is how you look at it. Um, if I just go back onto home, Okay, actually, if I search me, there's extra clicks that you have to do now, which is an, another bit of a pain. So if I just look on Julia Doherty, okay, and I want to find out the latest activity for Julia Doherty, then I can do that um, just by here, post an activity and I go see all activity. Okay, and then that will give me a list of all the activity that Julia Doherty has been posting over the last few days. And it will just go on forever. So that gives me all of my activity. But rather than just instantly seeing it, there's a few different hoops there that you have to jump in over. Okay, um, so if I just go back to home, This is really strange because I'm in as uh, somebody else, but it's given, showing me all my stuff. So I'm not really sure what's happening there. I think it obviously wants me to... It doesn't like it because I'm in on both on here. So if I just go into... Let's try this one. So Michael D. 
Disig, I don't know how you pronounce that one. Okay, so I want to find out what he's been doing. Michael's activity, see all activity. Okay, and then I get that information up here. Okay, right, what else has been going on? Let's go back onto my LinkedIn changes. The next thing is the Your Day facility. Now, this is a really key area. So if you go onto, this is in the old version, My Networks, then down to Connections. Then you get what we call Your Day, which is you know everybody that's um, had a birthday or a work anniversary, or it's a really good way of keeping in touch with people that you perhaps haven't seen for a while. You know, saying congratulations. Blimey, Wendy's been in Firefish for seven years. That went fast. Do you know? So I would click and say congratulations. Where is this feature now gone? In the new LinkedIn. Well, I'll show you. So it's not anywhere under my network at all. Okay. Where it is, is in your notifications, which is this little bell. So the, it's actually changed. So it used to be, I can't remember what it was now, like a little flag or something. Um, but if I go notifications, which is the little bell, okay, I will now get congratulations, birthday requests. I don't like the look of this. I like it in, I think this looks so much better. Or perhaps it's because that's what I'm used to. But having it in a list like this, you know, my notifications doesn't work for me as much. So um, unfortunately, everything is clumped all into one thing. So you haven't got the your day area just in one area now. It's all clumped under one, and that's where it is. It's in notifications. So if you're wondering where the uh, that section has gone, that's where it is. Okay. Right. The other part is the uh, mini CRM system that I absolutely love. Um, but unfortunately, now on the new version, you have to pay if you want to use this particular system. So this is like the little mini CRM system. So let me show you where it is on the uh, new one. So if I go into Gary, hi hey Gary, if you're listening. So if I go into Gary underneath here, is it vanished? Okay, we have what we call the relationship area, and this is private information just for me only. So I can add my little notes, blah, 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 blah. I can add reminders. So if I want to say, you know, it's like a sales call. Uh, so if I put customer service call, uh, so check in in a month's time or every three months or every six months then I get an email to say don't forget to call Gary um, in three months time and that's a great little function especially if you you've done a quote and you want to check them up next uh, check up with them next week or perhaps you know you've done you've placed somebody or something like that and then you want to uh, check up to see how they're getting on in a month's time or whatever you know the reminder function is really quite cool as is like the tagging so you can tag certain people into a group so tab it, tagging in this um, is not like tagging someone in a post. It just means like grouping people together. But this is all gone. And so if you want this feature, then you have to upgrade uh, to the next level up, which is I think it's $79 a month if you want that particular feature, as well as some other bits within LinkedIn. So boo for LinkedIn. I think that is really naff. Okay, so what I do is I actually pay for a different service, which does loads of other stuff, uh, which I'm not going to go into now, but it's called Duck Soup. Um, and it's a little plugin, um, and you can actually add notes. Um, you can visit profiles, a whole load of other stuff. That's called Duck Soup, uh, and I pay for that. It's a lot cheaper than um, than what you would pay for on LinkedIn. So you know, it's a good little thing, and it also does a lot of things that that CRM little system does as well. But boo for LinkedIn, taking out of the free area. Okay, so that's that CRM system. The other thing is the advanced search. Now, I don't know if this is just something you just need to get used to, um, but, you know, we used to have this little button up here to uh, do an advanced search. Okay, so from the search bar, you actually then put in various different, you know, criteria, people, keywords, all the rest of it, then click search, and it gives you results on your first, second, and third connections. I've never been a big fan of LinkedIn search anyway, because it limits you to just how many, your search results is literally just um, your search results of your connections. So, you know, if you're only connected to 200 people, you only get so many people come up in the search results, where if you're connected to 2,000 people, you get a lot more for exactly the same search. So I've always searched on uh, Google using Boolean string techniques and stuff like that. So the new search, 
is literally it's just there's no the advanced bit has gone that's not there anymore so the new search is literally just here and um, so if i'm looking say a sales manager in bristol press enter okay you can see it's doing a bit of a search here and you'll get particular keywords up so it says do you want to have a look at the the search results that we fed you you, are you looking for people, which is what I'm looking for, not jobs? Okay, so that will give me you know, 43,000 people, second connections, third connections, but it won't give me any more than third connections, jobs, companies. So, you yeah, know, you can start structuring your search here, but, and it gives you more details. But that is the search so it's literally there's no advanced search anymore that's gone you have to just play with what you've got so you can't you can refine and do some more filters over there to be honest with you because i haven't got this yet on my profile i'm just playing with the customer's profile at the moment that sort of limits me to you know the sort of information that i can bring up okay so i would always use i'm a big fan of if i just go on to i'm a big fan of recruitin.net so this is the tool that I've used for a long, long time, mainly because you can search the whole of the LinkedIn database, not just the search results, just on the people that I'm connected to. Um, and it's free of charge. It doesn't cost anything. So again, if I'm looking for a sales manager, now let's just put in sales manager, show similar jobs, Bristol. Okay, and I just click find people on LinkedIn. And it gives me that really complicated Boolean string search to search Google properly. And I just click open in Google. And then that will give me all the people that are relevant. See, I've got a lot more people here. It will also bring up people that have the surname of Bristol as well. So that's something to be a bit, a bit careful about. Uh, but then I can collect with these people if I click on there. It does go into their profile. Okay, but obviously on the new profile I'll get the new look. Uh, and from here I can do all sorts of things. You'll notice I also use the little hunter button as well, but I won't go into that right now. Okie dokie, so that's the other main uh, main change is the search facility, so if you're looking for people. Right, this is something that I can't find, so if you guys find it, if you've got it on uh, your profile, then let me know. Um, I'll show you where it is here on the, the regular one. If you go interests, then companies, one of the strategies that we show our, our um, students how to use LinkedIn is to make sure that you're liking as many different companies as you can, either your prospects or your clients. And then part of your five a day is to click companies. And then you've got the news feed of all those companies that you deal with. Um, you know, I can comment, I can like, I can retweet, uh, retweet, I can comment with a link and I can share information from this news feed, which is actually knocking on the doors of those particular clients, which is brilliant. Um, I can't find it anywhere on this new profile. I've looked all over the place. So if you guys can find it, then please let me know because I'm desperate to find out. And if you, you just got here, companies. Okay, but that's just searching companies. You can't find the search feed of the companies that you already like. So if you find it, let me know. That'd be cool. Okay, so that's just a few of the changes. If it is all a giraffe fire, in other words, if it is going over your head, you know where I am. Just give us a call. Try our live chat or join our coaching club. Anyway, that's me signing out for another week. I'll see you next time. Take care. Ta-da. Bye-bye.